When they were eight years old, they discovered synchronized swimming. They had a natural talent for it, and they loved it. It was the perfect sport for identical twins, swimming like mirrored images. At age 17, in 1980, they were crowned national duet champions and expected to perform at the 1980 Moscow Olympics with synchro as a demonstration sport. When the boycott spoiled those plans, the Swiss Open Championships became their milestone as the pair received the world's first duet perfect score of 10, just beating out Hall of Famers Tracy Ruiz and Candy Costi. Over the next three years, they were among the world's top performers. Then in 1984, after 14 years of training and striving, they failed to make the Olympic team. They retired from swimming to finish their university degrees and start their careers. Then one day in 1990, while watching a synchro competition, they experienced an unexpected sensation and realized their Olympic dream was still alive. Si on ne sait pas, on ne le saura jamais, they say. If we don't try, we'll never know. The challenges were immense. They only had two years to train for the 1992 Olympic Games. In addition, they did not qualify for funding, so they had to try this comeback while working full-time jobs and practicing five hours a day each day after work, all the while not knowing if they'd even make the team. But they believed in themselves, and with a team of four dedicated coaches to push them to their limits, they achieved an unprecedented comeback at the age of 27 and realized their Olympic dream by winning the duet silver medal in Barcelona. Theirs is one of the great comeback stories in FINA history. Penny and Vicky Villagos, Honor Synchronized Swimmers, Canada.